Democrats snatched a 5-4 victory over the Republican team on Tuesday night at the U.S. Soccer Foundation's 6th annual congressional soccer match. It was by no means an easy win. The Republican team nearly scored a fifth tying goal in the last minute of the game, but overshot, it wasn't the longest minute in sports history, but it was up there, said Rep. Rick Larson Richard, Rick, Ray Larson Overnight Finance, Trump signs repeal of auto loan policy, justices uphold contracts that bar employee class action suits, U.S., China trade war, on hold, free traders applaud Trump as China tariff threat receives House passes five-year reauthorization of Federal Aviation Administration more, the wash, about watching the final shot. The two teams included lawmakers, former professional soccer players and others, who gathered for the match at Gonzaga College High School in Washington, D.C. The skies nearly ruined the game. The event got pushed back after a long day of heavy rain and lightning, but eventually players rushed the field and played through the threatening weather. The event benefits the U.S. Soccer Foundation, which aims to promote the sport to children in underserved communities. The GOP lawmakers who took the pitch included reps. Don Bacon, Neb, Darren LaHooder and Michaela Hood overnight cybersecurity, tech execs testify on countering extremist content, House approved cyber diplomacy bill, Pentagon reportedly mulling nuclear response to cyber techs Womack wins initial support to become budget chairman rep. Lahood sworn in is House member Moore, Bill, and David Bladow David Goncol Vest Valadeo Pelosi, GOP discharge petition holdouts helping Ryan save face stems withhold support for immigration petition tensions on immigration erupt in the House GOP Moore, Caliph. The Dem side included reps. Kathy Castor Catherine, Kathy, and Castress lawmakers celebrate the royal wedding EPA approved aid to work for GOP firm, Florida lawmaker live coverage, Pruitt faces grilling in house hearings more, Florida, Ruben Key when Ruben Jesus Q and Brunel House votes to advance Yucca Mountain nuclear waste project overnight energy, interior sending officers to southern border, them AGs want EPA to halt plan restricting use of science, EPA documents show secrecy push Nevada Democrat accused of sexual harassment reconsiders retirement, report Portmore, Nev, and Larson. While the lawmakers were eager to show off their skills, they were also aided by former pros. The Democrats took the field with former U.S. National team standout Kobe Jones, their star goalie Saskia Weber, former Major League Soccer star Jamie Moreno, as well as a former Gridiron star, ex-NFL linebacker Roger, Rocky, McIntosh. Reporter Olivia Beavers from The Hill Newspaper, the event's media sponsor, also joined the Dem team. On the Republican side, the lawmakers were joined by former U.S. National Team Captain John Harks, Clarence Goodson and former D.C. United Star Santino Quaranta. Some lawmakers stayed on the sidelines, cheering on their side, including reps. John Bergman, Armish, and Sen. Todd Young tied Christopher Youngson 8 GOP urges Trump administration to work closely with Congress on NAFTA international trade, big business for small businesses Senators introduce bill to update Trump's war authority more, and I am most excited to see good rivalry that ends up in good sportsmanship, Bergman said. Bergman was originally slated to play with the Republicans but unfortunately had to bow out after taking a ground ball to the kneecap at a baseball practice. During the congressional game, the Democrats immediately pulled ahead, with Kewen scoring the first goal within the first minute. Another goal followed the minute after, you know, I think this is an indicator of what's going to happen in 2018, Kewen joked. You know, we're gonna, we're gonna win. We're gonna win in 2018. Democrats, Q and tough play though resulted in an injury, with the lawmaker spraining his ankle. Lahood said the game wasn't forecasting 2018, this is soccer, and politics will happen on the other side, Lahood said.
Lahood was surrounded by supporters wearing shirts that read, It's all good in Lahood. The Republican team scored two back-to-back -back goals in the first half of the game and repeated that feat in the second half. When Democrats went back up 4-2, the GOP side again clawed back with two more goals. But their last-minute shot on goal failed to hit the mark, leaving the Dems with the win. Bacon said the Republicans needed better teamwork on the pitch, they should have played more soccer, he said. But one Republican, a staffer, did claim a personal victory. Melissa Enriquez, who works for CEN. Lisa Murkowski, Lisa Ann Murkowski keeping through it could cost GOP Congress, Trump in the fall Trump's plan to claw back spending hits wall in Congress GOP, them lawmakers come together for McCain documentary more, our Alaska, on the Senate Energy and Natural Resources Committee, won the Queen of the Hill prize in a penalty shoot OUYT contest. Enriquez sported, make Alaska great again, hat.